Well, I'm going to start with the painted Steve Bailey welcome. Okay, so kids, you need to respond by welcoming me as well, just so I feel loved. So, good morning, boys and girls. It's Bernard here. Oh, thank you, Nathan and others, for a vibrant response. Now, I just want to be very clear. Uh, I can't sing like the Watt family. I can't play the guitar like Mr. Bailey. I can't even draw like Jess Prominence. But I can do two things. I can write and I can read. And so this is the kids' talk for today. I want to share with you one of my favourite songs. And this is the title of the song. And kids, get mum and dad to Google it for you later on because it's a corker. Okay, it's a corker, but you're going to learn this with me, okay? So I'm going to read it first, and then you've got to yell it out after me. From little things, big things grow. All right, wait up. You've got to say it after me in your loudest voice, kids. From little things. Big things. Grow. Terrific. It's a great song. And in fact, if you look around, you'll see evidence of this right next to you because those big people near you start off really small. That's the way God always works. God works from little things to get big things. In fact, if you shop at Woolies, you would see this every time you go shopping. In fact, I think the big thing growing is the pile of them on our kitchen bench. But when you open this packet, you will find a seed this big. Is that right? Well, strike a lot. I need to shop at your Woolies. How about this big? This big? This big. Oh, this big. How about this big? That's right. Thanks, Nathan. That big. And out of that will grow a whole veggie patch or at least some vegetables. Jesus didn't shop at Woolies. But do you know what? He used the same idea. Say it with me, boys and girls. From little things, big things grow. Listen to this. From Matthew chapter 13. Jesus presented another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It's the smallest of all the seeds. But when grown, It's taller than the vegetables and becomes a tree so that the birds of the sky come and nest in its branches. The smallest seed grows into the biggest tree providing shade for birds. That's the way God's always worked when it comes to his people. So boys and girls, I want you to listen very carefully to this. God's people started not even with a seed. It started with words, a promise. And then it went to one man. And he got 12 others. And if you know your sums, 1 plus 12 is 13. 13 is not a big number. It's not as big as 15. Not even as big as 20. But out of that 13, they started talking and talking and talking and talking so that today there are millions and millions and millions in God's people. And they're all meeting like we are today, in various places and in various ways. So as you do your kid sheet and as you colour in the mustard seed and as you colour in the wheat seed and as you think about how big they grow, I want you to remember this. From little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. Let me pray. And then we're going to continue with our service. Let's pray together. Dear Father, thank you that you make the biggest thing grow from one man. Thank you that you grow your people everywhere because of Jesus. Father, thank you that we're part of that people, the biggest thing in the world. Father, help us to tell our friends about Jesus so they can be part of that people too. Amen.